Hello everyone, welcome to White Post Farms Monthly Harvest. Now this is a brand new show coming to you at the end of every month, live on Facebook, but it is pre-recorded. But you can still write your comments, everyone, like you normally do. Get your comments in, I'll be replying to you. So what's coming up? Loads of cool things, uh, including a new feature, staff in a reasonably priced cart. Thought that ourselves. That's with Farmer George, what could go wrong? Now this month, uh, really cool things happening down on the farm, including lots of new arrivals and brand new babies. So we're going to see Farmer Gemma, who will tell you all about it. Yes, Anthony, we've had quite a lot of babies born this month, um, including blue tongue skinks, mice, guinea pigs, and this young man here and his two brothers. Okay, so this young man here is a Netherland dwarf. Um, he's one of the smallest rabbits in the world, um, and he's got tiny little ears, as you can see. Um, these guys were born on the 1st of January um, and their mum is pregnant for 31 days. Okay, so that's quite a short pregnancy. They're born with um, no fur and their eyes are closed. Um, these guys will stay with their mum until they're seven weeks old um, and then they come away for a week without mum to make sure everything's happening well with them and they're living well on their own. And then they will go down to the pet shop at eight weeks. Um, so if you'd like to own one of these, pop down and see us and ask us for any advice. Thank you, Gemma, and how cute are they? Loads more still to be born as well, and don't forget lambing season starts from the 12th of March, which means lambing live, of course, this year coming to you exclusively on our new YouTube channel. You can subscribe at youtube.com forward slash white post farm official. So, time for something new. Uh, our brand new idea, not lifted from anywhere, this time featuring our wonderful farm team with Farmer George. I take you now to staff in a reasonably priced cart. This I've got to see. I'm coming, George. George! Oh, I'm not, I'm stuck. When people think of the great racetracks of history, they will think Silverstone, Bahrain, Monaco, and now the White Post Farm racetrack. Oh yes. Over the next 12 months, we have got 12 staff members competing and fighting for the greatest prize there is. The staff in a reasonably priced cart. And first, the lady who is gonna raise a bar high, or low, she goes by the name of Kathy. She's an all-rounder. The animal care, the yard work, she herself is a force to be reckoned with. Let's see how she goes. Our riders will need to make a strong start as they push down the farm straight and into Darren the Waving Goat's corner. From there, it's rounded to Willow Snake Pass before another opportunity to gain speed on the second straight. Finally, it's into Hero's Hairpin where speed and steering need to work harmoniously to make it safely round the tight bend before the final push towards the finishing line. Kathy, are you ready mentally, physically? Have you trained for this? Are you gonna win? Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. In three, two, one, go, go, go! And she goes through a slow but steady pace as she comes around the first obstacle that's between the two cones. She pulls off a slight skidding as she goes round to Darren's corner. Those legs are pedaling furiously. Let's hope her cardio training has been up to scratch and a slow, steady, considerate turn as she tries to keep the speed on. A nice corner there. She's adjusting her visor, getting those professionally trained eyes on the course. And she comes around going to the chicane here. Remember, she needs to hit the apex spot on for this as she powers round. Quite a, if I'm not mistaken, slow, I probably am mistaken, pace. That's over halfway done now. She has at least, at least half of the track left to do. And she's coming down the final corner. This is imperative. The speed on this can make or break. Clear the second obstacle perfectly as she comes round. Here she is, pushing as fast as she can. She's got so close to it. And here she comes, ready to come over. For the light. And there it is, Kathy. Round of applause, everybody, Kathy. The first contender. Let's see how she felt about that, everybody. Kathy, a quick, quick interview. How was your first race? Uh, yeah. Do you feel like you really pulled one out of the bag there? Uh, yeah. Are you excited? I Brilliant. Strong words, powerful words. Would you like to know your time? Yeah. 
it is a respectable 59.65 seconds. Now let's see how that has affected the leaderboard. And what do you know, what a turn for the books. Kathy is first. My, my. Now over to Anthony and Rebecca, some more of January's new arrivals. Well done, Kathy. Really good work, mate. Now it's time for some animals again. And I'm here with my boss, Farmer Rebecca, who's going to tell me about turkeys. Talk turkeys. <laughs> Talk turkeys. We've got new turkeys here on the farm this Ace. morning, just arrived. So we're in their pen, we're going to meet them and let them out. Pretty exciting. Okay, and I believe this is Hank. This is Hank. Hank, the Norfolk bronze turkey. And he's just come to the farm with three ladies. What three of Hank? them, I know. And I thought, since you're so good with animals, you might like I to help get them out. Ladies. Okay, let's well, go. Well, no, animals. Here they come then. This is their new enclosure. Yeah. We've got a nice little pond. So we're going to see what they a think nice of house. it. We'll get lady number one out first. Here she comes. Hello, mate. Straight into her bed. Can I get Hank out? You can get Hank out yes. if you'd like to. I'll save Hank for you. Yowza. Good girl. She's the feisty one, oh, obviously. Easy. I'll leave Hank, Hank to I'll, you. I'll, I'll get Hank. <laughs> we get out, please. Oh, you are a natural. Check that out. Farmer Doolittle. Cheers, Hank. <laughs> So what's going to happen now then, Beth? They just stay here? Yeah, we're going to leave them in here for a few days to settle in, um, put them to bed every night, so they're okay. nice and safe. So, um, yeah. Everyone can see them, they're part of um, what we call Goat Row. Goat Row, yeah, they've got the ducks as their neighbours, um, and hopefully they'll settle in and they'll be a nice attraction for when all school children come. Excellent. Well, it's a bit blustery at the moment, everybody, but our turkeys are in place. You can see them every day here at the farm. Come and get stuck in. Okay, and it's not just turkeys, we've got a brand new hedgehog. How cool's that? And by the magic of White Post Farm, me and Rebecca are going to go and meet him now. Let's go. Let's go. And here we are. Meet Pippin. Well, it's a hat. Yes. Where is he? He's there here, he is. inside the hat. He's a little bit shy. So he's brand new, isn't he? Brand new, arrived on the farm earlier this week. Hello, mate. And he's an African pygmy hedgehog. That is absolutely right. What does that mean? It means he's a little hedgehog, okay, originally from Africa. Nice. Makes sense. <laughs> and what's his job going to be here then, Beth? Well, we get a lot of inquiries about people wanting to meet, school children wanting to meet nocturnal animals. Yeah. And Pippin, being a hedgehog, is a nocturnal animal. So we thought he would be really good to go into schools. Doesn't like me, does he? <laughs> he's, you know, he's getting used to you. Watch, look. Um, yeah, no. So we could talk about nocturnal animals with the school children. Hey, little Pippin. No. Maybe you should try and give him a treat. Okay, then he might warm to you a little bit more. I think, because I wasn't here when he arrived, mm -hmm. I think he's, everyone else is his friend, but I'm new. He doesn't like me. Okay. Or it's because I haven't got any hair on my head. There you go. A couple more treats. Do you think that might make him like me? I think he'll be your friend pretty soon. Let's test look. I'm going to stroke him now after he's eaten it. Okay, go on then. Hello, mate. You're nice. Uh, no, it doesn't like me. <laughs> Good. Anyway, I thought hedgehogs were horrible, stinky creatures. No, they're not. They can be really clean animals. And Pippin has a bath with us every other day to keep his skin nice and clean. Of course he does. So he's all good. You are, Pippin. Mm. Let's have one little stroke. You're a good boy. You're a good little boy. Do you want to have a hold? Yes, please. Okay. Yes. Okay, Pippin. Yeah, bonding. What a good boy. So when's your first trip then, Beck? When's he going out? Well, we've got a couple of animal roadshows into schools next week, so I imagine if he's still doing as well as he is now, because he's a pretty confident little guy, he'll be going out into a school next week. Amazing. I think me and him are going to be further friends in the end, aren't we, mate? <laughs> are you friends? I think he likes me already. Here he is. This is Pippin, our new African pygmy hedgehog. So that's nearly it for the January edition of the Monthly Harvest. It's been good fun, hasn't it? Lots of lovely animals. How good was Kathy on the go-karts? Baby rabbits were ace. Lovely little pygmy hedgehog. And the turkeys are cool as well. But it's not quite it for the animals, because I want to meet these beauties. So who have we here then? Introduce me. Uh, this is Megan and this is Shamrock, the unicorns from Clip Clock Pony Rides. And it, isn't it really popular now, unicorns, isn't it? Yeah, We've yeah. noticed a lot of our visitors are looking forward to coming at Feb half term. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know that there was a Facebook um, feed and uh, it went like crazy. There was lots of people interested. So, yeah, we're going to be here Feb half term and um, we're excited to be bringing the... And you're going to work with us for a bit more, aren't you, as well? You're going to hang yeah. around with us for a while now. We exciting. Are, yeah, yeah, really exciting. And we're looking forward to, to being um, part of White Coast Farm. Um, so ponies are going to, and donkeys are going to be here. Um, amazing. Weekends and every day in school holidays. Debbie, they look amazing. They're beautiful. 
How do they react to being decorated and painted? Are they okay with it? Yeah, they don't mind. Um, the paints are just brushed in. They're non-toxic, yep. water-based paints, so they wash out and the ponies don't mind at all. Well, I love it. And they're going to be so popular. We're excited to work with you for half term. Yeah. That's yeah. going to be cool. Yeah. And then more after that as well. Yeah, we're going to be here every weekend and then every day in the school holidays and we're really excited to be working with you guys. Yeah, so. I can't wait. It's yeah. going to be brilliant. And hopefully see lots of you guys there as well. That's it for the first edition of the White Post Monthly Harvest. I've had a great time. Really hope you've enjoyed it. Loads more to come. And we'll see you all very soon. Don't forget to subscribe to White Post Farm TV at youtube.com forward slash White Post Farm Official.